At this point in the video series, you've already learned more about public library governance. Your library director relies on policies for structure and guidance. Part of your responsibility as a public library trustee is the review, updating, and creation of the policies that your library director will use to conduct the library's daily operations. Trustees should feel very good about the role that they play. Looking around Pennsylvania's libraries and libraries across the country, you can see that public libraries are doing now more than they ever have, and that's due to the guidance and the policies that are developed by the boards. Policies, such as those on internet and community room usage, are important to the success and operation of the library because they keep people safe and ensure that employees are treated with fairness and equity. While such general policies may be handled by board members alone, other policies, such as collection development, should be written with input from the library director. Policies provide the framework for an organization. It um, makes certain that the board and the staff and the director are all headed in the same direction and that the, that the service will be consistent. Policies are very important. Each library is different, as is the community in which it's located. Policies should be developed with careful thought given to the specific community which your library serves. There are some policies that are adopted by library boards that could be controversial, but it depends on the community. And I think it's important for the library board to recognize the kind of community that they have and then seek to adopt a policy that makes sense for the community and for the particular library. Uh, when we develop the policy, I think a lot of the times it happens when I have a frustration at work or when I run into anything very difficult. So I would turn to my board for help and uh, I explain the situation to them. We work together and we would develop a policy to get the problem solved. Well-developed boards have trustees with several areas of expertise, finance, law, business management, human resources, strategic planning, and more. It's best to assess those skills and involve the library director when it's time to review, update, or create policies for your library. When it comes to setting policy, a board would be wise to take the counsel or advice of the director. Uh, there may be circumstances the board's not aware of. It's quite possible the board's maybe not experts as far as, say, human resources, governan governance, um, nonprofit law, that sort of a thing. And it's not necessarily the director's responsibility to be an expert in all of those things. The board is the one who's ultimately responsible. So to just not take the director's opinion or advice into account, I think would be bordering on negligence. Now, the ultimate decision does rely with the board. Uh, one thing I can say is that the strength of the relationship between our board and our director lies in the fact that we all believe that everyone is pulling for what they feel is in best interest of the library. Now, we might have different opinions as to how to go about doing that, but that does allow the freedom for everyone to speak, uh, to be able to offer their opinions, and you know, there's basically no hard feelings if it goes in a different direction than what, for example, you were proposing because you trust the other person, knowing that they have the library's best interest at heart. Because situations may change quickly, it's important to review policies regularly. By working cooperatively with your library director, you'll know which policies are working well, which may need revision, and what operational areas may demonstrate a need for creation of a new policy. Your library director may also help by providing sample policies to review and consider. The library director is involved in providing guidance to the board in setting policies. The board makes the decision about the policies, and then the library director has to make certain that the policies are followed. Oftentimes, a library board will rely on the library director to help identify areas where policies no longer work or new policies are needed. And so it's important for a library director to perhaps come up with some samples, uh, examples, or a draft of a policy that could be changed. The board actually makes the decision. The library director does not vote, and then the library director has to make certain that the policy, however it's, it's approved by the board, is followed. 
trustee Kevin Service sees policy review and development as a practical way to help govern the library by giving the library director specific guidelines. As a trustee, the responsibility of the board is to make sure that the director has all the tools that he or she needs to be able to do her job. Policy relating to HR is an important part of that and keeping those up to date uh, following current HR codes, uh, state laws, etc. is also a responsibility of the Board of Trustees. So, you know, the reasons for doing it are many, um, but it does boil down to the impact that this has on the operation of the library. Executive Director Herb Landau values the leadership and expertise provided by the Board. Well, trustees represent an extremely valuable leadership resource for public libraries in terms of helping to set policy, raising funds, and uh, we couldn't get along without you. Uh, they are also uh, primary supporters in terms of providing what we say are the three W's. Uh, Board of Trustees provides wisdom, work, and wealth, and we think that's important. It's because of these wise choices that patrons of all ages may see their public library as the dynamic, thriving organization it's meant to be. I would like to thank the trustees for their good governance of libraries and um, how well they can put together policies that are so necessary uh, when working in a public library. Please refer to the Getting On Board binder for more information about creating and updating policies. When you collaborate with the director and other trustees, you'll have the information and support you need to efficiently operate the library, allowing everyone to fully enjoy it. Thanks, trustees, for a cool place to hang out.